think. So I went to get my um, eyes checked, just like a yearly thing, and we had to bump up the reading prescription, really just for like hanging out on my phone, which I do a lot, and on my computer. So that's when I wear them. So anyway, you get first look. I literally just picked them up. What do you think? Thumbs up? I think they're cute. I always get the cheap ones, but um, it's got a little purpley blue to it. So anyway, I am so excited because I just went to Hobby Lobby and I love Hobby Lobby as we all do that get to go, right? But let me tell you what was so exciting. You guys, for the first time in a year, I went into Hobby Lobby and did not have to wear a mask. Ah! How freeing was that? Isn't it crazy things are opening up, y'all? I mean, they have been in my area, but it, it's it's like almost, it's crazy. Um, It's crazy because you don't have to, like, like the signs are off doors now. The signs, they're not even there. I walk in, I had a mask in my hand because I wasn't quite sure, you know? We're kind of at that like, mm, do I wear it? Do I need to? Are they going to say something? I don't know. But seriously, I didn't have to wear a mask. It was, I mean, I don't know why that was so freeing to me. It's like, yes, one more step in the right direction. I can shop in Hobby Lobby without a mask on. So anyway, I carried it in my hand just in case. And I don't want anyone looking at me. I, I just, but no one had them on. No one. The people that worked in there did. So I don't know if they're, obviously, I guess they're still required to wear them. But that, that, that's it. That's why I was so excited. It just was freeing, I, you know. How much do you think I spent? Ah! I went in for fabric and I just wanted a couple of fabrics. Uh, nothing too fancy. I'm gonna make some bag tags in my um, stitch, out, um, stitch Out crew. And uh, I just wanted to get some fun, just, just new fabrics. And let me just show you what I got. I'm so excited. And she said this one's new, so maybe you guys haven't seen this. <gasps> Stop it. Shut the front door. Look at that beauty miss rainbow. And I love it because it's smaller than, you know, some of the other prints. Y'all, how awesome is that? And I mean, seriously, we can do monograms in like every color and they will all look adorable. So super cute. She said it was new um, from Hobby Lobby. It says Brother Sister Design Studio. I never heard of that. How cute. I first saw it in like a little fat quarter and then I was like, oh my gosh, but it's expensive to buy fat quarters. And so anyway, I bought a couple yards of that. And then how cute is this? I'm sure y'all have all seen this one, but how perfect is that one? Isn't that awesome? So that would be cute because you really could, depending on where you place it for the bag tags, um, I think that would be cute for, you know, just different I mean, honestly, any any color book bag or bag that you have, this would be so cute on it. So, um, little rainbows and then rainbow dots. These are both, um, you need more. Oh, you, actually, I just got into Hobby Lobby today. Are you out? I can get some for you if you need me to. Um, it was, well, now I don't know which one was which. One was $7.99 and one was $6.99 a yard. So, um, anywho, isn't that cute? So then for my random purchases, what else did I buy? Oh, I bought um, Werther's. I mean, because that's random. I always come out with something like that, right? But I love Werther's. Um, even though I'm doing um, keto, I'm not supposed to have sugar. -ish. Oh, well. Um, and then I bought some moss. Have y'all ever bought moss? So I have a... Um, I have a plant in my house and you can actually, I just went ahead and plopped it straight into a indoor planner where you can see... Um, where you can see like the top of the plastic liner. Anyway, um, my mom used to always use this moss stuff. So I'm gonna put moss around the bottom so you can't tell there's a plastic liner in my planner. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna eat the moss, but um, some days I feel like that's what I'm eating. Um, it, it probably is keto friendly, I bet it is. And then it's Memorial Day. Um, so I bought all these flags. So I live at the beach and a lot of times here at the beach, people will, um, 
you know, put their flags in their yards. And I don't know why, but I've always wanted to do that. So I bought every last one of them. Um, they are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14 flags will be in my front yard. I'm gonna get my boys to help me put these out. But I just always think that looks so cute. Seriously, so cute. So I'm excited. That was random. I just saw it at checkout and I went, I was like, um, can you hold on please? I'm gonna go grab every flag I see over there. And what else did I buy? Oh, I bought shirts. Um, I am in, in my stitch out supply group. We are going to be doing some shirts that, um, for our back to school. So super excited about that. I priced them from um, like jiffy.com and Sanmar and all that. And it was literally less expensive for me just to grab them from Hobby Lobby, no shipping. And they have the Gildan and I, I got as many, well, as many as I needed. So they, they had a really good supply of adult shirts. So that was awesome. So I've got a couple of bags back there of shirts that we'll be doing. Um, so yeah, fun. I'm excited. So lots of things for back to school. And of course, Memorial Day gearing up with um, July 4th and all that good stuff going on right now. School's getting ready to um, get out like literally like in a couple of minutes here, but also like for the summer. How crazy is that? Um, it's just crazy. So not many more, um, carpools.